Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations where we generally look at one or another lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the daily office lectionary. And I thought for today, for Saturday, we'd take a look at the lesson that's assigned uh, for morning prayer, the first lesson, uh, and that is from the first book of Samuel, the 15th chapter, beginning at the 24th verse. And Saul said unto Samuel, I have sinned, for I have transgressed the commandment of the Lord and thy words, because I feared the people and obeyed their voice. Now, therefore, I pray thee, pardon my sin and turn again with me that I may worship the Lord. And Samuel said unto Saul, I will not return with thee, for thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, and the Lord hath rejected thee from being king over Israel. And as Samuel turned about to go away, he laid hold upon the skirt of his mantle, and it rent. And Samuel said unto him, The Lord hath rent the kingdom of Israel from thee this day, and hath given it to thy, a neighbor of thine that is better than you, thou. And also the strength of Israel will not lie nor repent, for he is not a man that he should repent. Then he said, I have sinned, yet honor me now, I pray thee, before the elders of my people and before Israel, and turn again with me that I may worship the Lord thy God. So Samuel turned again after Saul, and Saul worshiped the Lord. Then said Samuel, bring hither to me Agag, the king of the Amalekites, and Agag came unto him to delicately. And Agag said, Surely the bitterness of death is past. And Samuel said, As thy sword hath made women childless, so shall thy mother be childless among women. And Samuel hewed Agag in pieces before the Lord in Gilgal. Then Samuel went to Ramah, and Saul went up to his house in Gibeah of Saul. Okay, so see here we, we know that the problem is, is Saul has great intentions most of the time, but he also fears the opinion of the people, and, he, and for him, he's a people pleaser. He wants to be important, but he also wants to be liked. And because the people told him to not kill Agog and to rather have a, a, a treaty with the Amalekites, even though God had told him through Samuel that he was to destroy him, God has now taken the kingdom from Saul. So that didn't last very long, did it? Right? It, it'll be a little while, a couple of years before uh, the, his replacement, David, is actually uh, in control. But the fact that they asked for a king and that this was the first choice of king and it fails miserably still does not deter people from wanting a king. Uh, and so, he, you know, as, as Saul, uh, Samuel went to go away, he ripped, at the gar ripped his garment, I rent it, it's good for the word for ripping, uh, and, uh, and he says, and so, just as you've done this, uh, just as an example, that the kingdom is being ripped from you. And of course, then Samuel completes God's command that this person, this Amalekite, who is worshiping the false gods and sacrificing children, uh, he himself was destroyed. So anyway, it's hard in the book of Samuel, these sort of things, but that God is in fact preparing a way for the people of Israel to be the people that he desires for them to be. And that includes obedience when God says that this is what they are to do. And Samuel certainly is speaking to them, the word of God. So today's Saturday. Right, so I hope today that you have a chance to do some things for recreation, to be recreated, uh, and to have yourself an opportunity to prepare for tomorrow, which of course is Sunday when we gather for worship. Hey, think of somebody to invite for church today, right? And pray for them and invite them to join you in church. Uh, and of course, most importantly, assuming you're not far away on vacation, we look forward to seeing you in church and feeding you in word and the Holy Sacrament. And on this Saturday, May it be a day that is full of blessings. God bless you.